hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see selectable grid view in flutter so let's start so what i will do is in body i'll take our grid view dot count i'll take grid view dot count and i'll give it a cross axis of three and i'll add some main axis spacing and cross axis spacing to it so like this so what other things we have is let's say we have our children's inside our grid view so i'll add our children's like this children and so this will be our grid view okay so now what we can do is i can create a item view which will be shown inside our grid view so what we can do is let's create an item view or let's just create an another stateless item view let's create a new file called grid view underscore item view dot dot and this will be our file so we'll create a new stateless widget which will be our grid view item view import the flutter material package and what we are going to have is we are going to have a container only so what we can do is i'll just simply remove this first and we are going to give a color selectable container so what i am going to do is i'll simply create some constructor variables which is will be a, the string of title which will be the shown inside our container i'll also have a color which will be used to show the color of our container and a void callback final void callback on tap like this which will be used to on tap and a bool variable which will be used to see if our grid view is selected or not which is bool selected like this add question mark and add our formal parameters and don't forget to add the question mark before the string like this to avoid the null check errors and okay so what we are going to do is now we'll simply create our container i'll give the color of color and as a child i'll take a center and in the center i'll take a row and inside the row what we can do is we can show our text which will be text and it will have the title uh, dot to string as it's a string we'll give it a, a some styling so like this style text style of let's add some color of let's say colors dot white and also give it a some font size of let's say 20 okay so this will be our text and the another widget that we'll be having in our row is let's say a icon and we'll show the icon of let's say a check which will indicate that our grid view is selected that item view is selected so for that we will add like this selected and we'll first initialize it as a false and if it's true we'll show the icon and else we can show a container like this so and we can add a inkwell widget to our container wrap it with a inkwell widget like this inkwell and now you can give the on tap property to our container so this is our grid view item view is ready so what we can do is we'll add this item view inside our grid view in our demo app so let's let's first create a list of let's say grid view items so it will be i'll name it as items and it will be of map string and dynamic like this we'll create a list and inside our list we'll have the title and the color 
that we'll be having for our container of grid view item view so like this you can add an item inside your list of let's say a type string and dynamic okay so first i'll give the title of i'll give the title of the color that we are going to show to our container so let's say a red will be the first container which is having the red color so the second value will be the our color like this color we'll add color and we'll give it a color of red okay so like this red red and I'll, what i can do what's remaining is okay so comma is remaining so this is our first item inside our list i'll quickly create few more items Okay, so now our list is ready so what we can do is now we'll add our grid view item view inside the children I'll be using the for loop like this int i equal to 0 and the length will be the i will be less than length of items dot length and i plus plus like this and you can use like this or you can simply remove the brackets and you can directly write below it that is our grid view item view like this simply write grid view item view like this okay so what we can do is we'll create an option that is going to be selected so first we'll declare an int which is the option that is selected as let's say a zero we'll initialize it with zero and we'll also create a void function which will be the check option which we'll use to show our check icon so what we can do is we'll simply it will return an index and we'll set our option selected as the index okay so this is our function is ready check option function so now let's give the values to our grid view item view so we have title so title would will, would be the title in our items so like this items right i as we have a type map so we'll have to write like this and it will be as a string because the title is in string and we will also have the color and we'll have the color from our items like this i and we'll give it a color and the value will be as color and now we have the other properties which are let's say on tap and selected so in the on tap what we can do is we can simply return our function which is check option and the index will be i plus one like this and similarly the selected index would be i plus one and that is equal to our option selected equal to option selected so now our grid view item view is ready let's give some padding to our grid view so i'll add padding i'll add padding from left top and right let's say 
a 16 a value of 16 and now let's just save our app so now you can see our grid view is ready what i can do is i'll simply align our row in the center as main axis alignment and it would be in the center so like this okay so now we have our selectable grid view ready so what we can do is simply check by clicking it so i'll click on the red so we can see we have our tick mark as selected we'll simply change its color to colors dot white so we can see it properly and now what we can do is okay we can see the tiles in our grid view is selected okay so what we can do is we can simply change our background color now so i'll just initialize a color as background color and it would be the colors dot white as the initial color and i will add this color to our background color in of our scaffold and i will add a little opacity <clears throat> okay so now let's save our app and now what we can do is in the on tap property in our grid view item view we can change the background color like this inside the on tap we can write set state and in the set state we can change our background color to the colors of our items like this we'll copy it and paste it okay so now let's just save our app oh let's hot reload our app okay so now we have our initial color as a white with opacity now let's select our items in our grid view so you can see the colors of the background is changed okay so this is how you can use this selectable grid view inside your app and in flutter hope you found this video helpful do like share subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you in the next video